Why wrong. wait? Why wait when we continue playing Sky... I mean... Skyrim. Why you Skyrim? Skyrim. <laughs> Welcome to Skyrim. Welcome back to Breakfast League. We're playing Skyrim. Um... That we're it has the same gr graphics feel. Uh, I have no... I have, this is... There's a heart piece. And... Something. I don't know if there's a that one. Chest, but it was the one that was on your yeah. right. Yeah, I saw. I, th I, was, I thought that was it as well. But, you know, I just wanted to... <coughs> Make sure there's any other chests I was supposed to get while I'm up here. Get a heart piece, you die. I'll kill you in real life, basically. That would oh. be cool. I guess. I'll if you die in the game, you just die in real life. Wow. That was a very so. funny that we have made multiple times. Wow. But that's Breakfast League. We it's make like the same choice. It's an ongoing meme for like four years. For everything. Uh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. Wasn't so that Spy Kids? You die in the game. You die. Or, I know. I, I know. you die. I know it was Matrix, but the game part was Spy Kids. I'm pretty sure. Because the Matrix was like you die in the simulation, you die in real life, or whatever. And the, dude, I just realized that the the stupid Sword Art Online or whatever anime from 2015 stole that from Spy Kids. Oh. I just realized that. <laughs> That makes me hate it even was more. It, Spike, it was either Spy Kids 3 or 4. I don't even know if they made a fourth one. But it was like, they went into the game or whatever. And it was like, yeah. you're dying the game, you're dying your life. What was even like, uh, besides swords, obviously. What was sort of the art online even about? Swords, art, and online. Uh, yeah. It was literally about, um... Isn't it just like a really flawed anime? Very. Okay. Because it was, it started off like... Oh boy, I'm a beta tester for this new game that's about, um, like, basically a huge MMO RPG, but in, like, completely, utterly VR, where you put on a headset and it's your entire, like, consciousness or whatever mm. going to the virtual world. So, Ready Player One. So, basically, Ready Player One to an extent, yeah. Except anime. Yeah, except anime, and it wasn't, like, bad. Ready Player right. One was pretty alright. No, I was talking about I was talking about Ray Player One being better. Oh yeah, absolutely, it was much better. I haven't seen it, but it looks. But good. um, but so what happens is that like in the first like few out. Oh, ooh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah, thank That's you, game. thank you. You can talk. Oh, if you die in the game, you die for real. Is a quote from the 2006 horror film Stay Alive. Oh. Oh, I thought it was Spy Kids. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> we are wrong, guys. But, um... But so, like, in the first day of the game, the creator comes on, or who they think is the creator or something, I don't remember, and he's like, Ha, you guys got fucking pranked, you're trapped in the game, and if you die in the game, we send a shock to your headset or whatever that sends 9,000 volts to you to your nervous system and causes you to seize uncontrollably and die or something. And it's like, oh, okay. And then it's, but it's about how like the main yeah. character named Kirito is about is it's about his harem. Do you know what a harem is? No. It's a, <laughs> it's it's about it's about how it's only an anime thing about how one anime character gets seventy thousand girls, but he doesn't want any of them. Oh. And it's it, the. That's just unrealistic. Okay, yes. Link. Oh, oh okay. thanks, thanks, Link. <laughs> Thank you, Russell. But, um... That was spot on. Fellas, Twilight Princess is just... It's the Dark it's Souls just of Legend Nintendo Zelda. Nintendo Dark Souls. Absolutely. Changed my mind. Absolutely. Can't but, change your mind, because I agree. <laughs> but so then, the first half of the first season is, that, is the first game. And it started off cool. It was like, oh, they're going to do like one episode every level. Because the game design was, it was like a hundred different levels of the game. And it was like, the first few episodes were like the first few levels, and it's like, oh, this is cool, it's gonna be like, basically, like, I don't know, a let's play of an MMORPG as an anime, I guess. But then it started skipping levels, Watch it. and then it wasn't about beating the game anymore, it was about a love story that was really cringy. Wow. Oh, wait, wait, okay. Sorry, I just re-picked up on what you said. Yeah. Um, uh, so basically, instead of becoming this really cool concept of being like, oh, you're actually in like a video game world, it just tore down to be a love story. Yes. Right. It just I despise things that do that. Like, yeah. I 
I think the so, I think one of the sole purposes we're here is for love. And I hate it when cartoons and like animes and whatever like serious top or not serious topic, but like series fucking do that. Like yeah. that's why Stranger Things se- uh, season two started to get like a bit dull. I didn't like it at all. I thought it was all right, but I thought there was too much love aspect into it. Mm-hmm. It was just um, pandering. That's why I stopped watching Adventure Time regular show because there was just episodes going on and on about just a relationship and it's like while while it's that's fine for people that like that it's it's kind of hard to relive it yeah because mm-hmm. <laughs> like there's obviously that awkward phase and it's just it's just awkward and not entertaining i i don't like it. oh but you you i almost forgot to mention the most important aspect of it ever his name the main character's name kirito he goes by the Black Swordsman. Mm. Ah, very, very And there was name. a big, it was like three of the first 13 episodes, or like two of them, were about some huge, like, big, like, on the line, like, oh no, he wants me to join a guild, but I'm a solo player, I don't join guilds, re. Mm-hmm. And then the biggest aspect of why he wasn't wanting to join was because their uniform was white. And yeah, he didn't okay. want to dress in white. Okay. So basically, you're saying he's a racist. Basically, but for yeah. for you know. But so anyway, they end up beating the game. Or basically, what happens is, I'll, I'll this is spoiler territory. But so it turns out Go that the, the leader don't. For... It's awful. <laughs> but the the what ends up happening is like the leader of the guild that he will, that the like demanded that he join, turned out to be like the developer of the game. And then he's like, I have a challenge for you or some stupid shit where it's like, if I beat you in the game on, in a duel, that means you have to let everyone else go or whatever. But then he fucking loses. But then the developer of the game is like, nah, I changed my mind. It's okay. I'll let everyone else go. And there's like a confrontation scene where the main character to the developer is like, so why'd you do it? And he's like, I'll fucking know. <laughs> All right. And then... Oh! That's what I want. I'll take it. Oh, okay, okay. But so then, um, then that's the first half of the first season. The second half is about another game <laughs> called Alfheim, uh-huh. where the love interest is trapped in the game in a tower or some shit, like, by some crazy dude. Wow, how very original. Mm. And it's about how, for some random reason, the main character kept all of his things from the previous game. Like, it's a completely different game. But he kept his level, his experience, and all of his items and everything else. Um, Cloud Storage, Cameron, duh. Uh-huh. You fucking he did. copied it to Google Drive. <laughs> anyway, continue. But so, um, that entire second half of the season is about how he's playing constantly with some chick that's like, they're elves, by the way, because it's called Alfheim. They're pl- <laughs> they're, they, okay. He's playing with some random chick that he meets online. And it's, he's like, it's like another love story and everything else. Uh, but then it's his fucking sister. Uh, uh. And it's about, it's like this stupid ass love story about how his sister's in love with him and everything else. And he, again, it's the harem effect where he doesn't fucking care. He doesn't even want her. And then literally like the entire part of the series is, that part of the series is just him trying to get to um, the main love, the main love interest. When I'm sitting here, just just sitting, just thinking, just log out of the fucking game. It's not hard. <laughs> it's not hard Wait, though. but isn't it the thing that if you like die? Or oh log no, that's out? completely removed in the second half of the first season. It's completely renew- removed in that game. Well, actually, Cameron, the entire thing about Sword Out Online is that he's addicted to the game, so it's like he can't get away from it because he's fucking addicted, you fucking idiot. I'm an evil commenter that thinks Sword Out Online is the best fucking anime of all the goddamn time. Yes. And then there was the second season, which was about guns. Oh. What did I do? And then for some reason, he was a girl. What did I do? (laughs) Why? (laughs) Oh, we have a face cam now. Shit, okay. Uh. Alright. If this is even real, my life. Huh. And just press um, five or whatever. No, press, it's press like the no scene thing. Huh. Where? Uh, There's. <laughs> we have no oh, that happened. If All that right. actually shows up, then I'll be like, lol! <laughs> anyway. 
This is why I, sh I shouldn't do angry commenter. Yes. Um, yeah, angry commenter. That bit is over. <laughs> but so, like, the entire stakes of the first season is like, oh shit, they're gonna die because the if they die in the oh. game. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thanks. Thank but you, Alex. Thank you. But the entire premise is, you, if, we're gonna die if we die in the game. But now the premise is, if I die, I lose all my stuff and I have to restart. <laughs> if I die, I have to respawn and <laughs> yeah, grab my diamonds and stuff. <coughs> so basically, season one is alright, everything else is just garbage. No, it's the first half of season one. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> There's 13 episodes that are pretty okay. Actually, uh -huh. not even 13. Seven of the first 13 episodes are alright. And then the five in the middle of it is just complete shit because it's the love story. Mm -hmm. But then the 13th is the one that it's like kind of good because it's the duel between him and the game developer. But then it's ruined by him being like, so, so, uh, I don't remember his name. I'll just I say didn't want, don't want to go that far, but hey, it's God. fine. I'll just Be say like, the guy, I would say the guy's name is Masahiro Sakurai because why not? <laughs> and he's sitting there like, so, uh, Masahiro Sakurai, why, why, did, why did you do this? Why did you want to kill all these people? He's like, I don't know. I thought it was fun. <laughs> I just want to have some fun. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't actually have done it. Jesus. It's just a prank. <laughs> it's just a prank. <laughs> After closing time, what? we'll continue talking about bad animes, except not really. We're probably going to stop talking.